Ah, good morning everybody. Morning two of my Lake O'Hara Odyssey. <laughs> um, now this morning the it's quite clear out again and I seem to be working really hard just to get the odd image. I think yesterday I got two images, the one on the overlooking Lake O'Hara and, um, and Mary Lake and uh, I got a couple of others but nothing stellar really. Um, so what I'm going to do this morning is I'm actually in the shade and there's an area just down the trail here, down by this cliff here, called Seven Vales Waterfall. Now I photographed here before and I've had quite a bit of success. Uh, I'm not sure how much water is running right now because it's still pretty cold. But I'm hoping there might be a bit of ice or, or something of interest there. Um, I remember last time I was here, because it, it was sunny like this, so you can see behind me here, this, it's quite sunny. Uh, but all that reflected light was going into the waterfall, so it was actually quite nice. Um, so I'm going to try and take some shots there. And then uh, I'm going to play it by ear. See, there are a few clouds, and I'm hoping they might stick around, but it's, it's still a long ways off until, uh, until sunset. So, take a few shots here, and then um, maybe go up to Opaben Plateau again for the evening. Have to see how it goes. It was pretty cold last night. Um, I was quite chilled actually, which is really surprising because my my bag is. Is, uh, my sleeping bag's rated to minus 19, so anyway, I was a little bit chilled. Right. So this is the Seven Vales waterfall, and as you can see, it's uh, it's quite spectacular. You can also see the uh, reflected light from the uh, the mountains on the opposite um, side of the lake. There, there isn't quite as much water um, as last time I was here. I took a whole bunch of images here, and actually, I have a a print hanging up in my house that's four by six feet, and it it looks quite spectacular. So I'm going to see if I can come away with something a little bit different. As the day progresses, as it warms up, there'll probably be more water coming down from the glacier above. Anyway, I'm going to set up my tripod, see what I can come, uh, come away with. Oh, great that's a beautiful waterfall um, 
it's kind of unusual because there isn't really a creek. It, it comes right out of the, um, the rock pile that's above it. So it's glacial fed and then it, there's underground streams and then it just comes right out of the scree slope. So it's kind of unique that way. Um, you can just make it out just here. Also, unfortunately you can't see it with this camera. Uh, there's actually several uh, mountain goats up there grazing around. Uh, they just love it up here because uh, of the steep cliffs and so on. Now I guess I should be careful what I wish for because uh, when I got up this morning of course it was completely blue skies and now it's clouded right over. So I'm not sure what's going to happen for evening light. But what I'm going to do is head back to camp and uh, have some lunch and then hang out there for a bit and just keep an eye on the weather. If it doesn't look like there's going to be a sunset, then I might just pack up and uh, start heading back to the car because it's a good 11 kilometer hike back. Um, if it does look promising, then I'll probably hike back up to Opaven Plateau, probably around, uh, I don't know, five o'clock or so. And hopefully we'll get another session where we get some uh, really nice light. Last night was, was pretty good. Um, I can't complain. I guess that's what keeps me coming back for more is that possibility or that hope of that really dramatic light. Anyway, back to the camp, have some lunch, and then we'll go from there, right? All right, looks like I'm gonna be spending another night here. Clouds have cleared off, but there's still clouds in the, in the uh, like thin clouds. So there's a good chance that we'll get some nice color in the sky tonight. So I'm gonna have um, an early dinner and then I'm gonna hike up to a pavement plateau and uh, just wait it out, I guess, just like I did last night. It looks promising, fingers crossed. Wow, <laughs> that was a real shame. Of course, as soon as I get up here, the clouds have uh, disappeared. <laughs> Just my luck. There's a few little wispy clouds over the back here, but that's about it. So I'm going to concentrate on, there's a little bit of light on the peaks beyond. So I'm concentrating on the reflection, the warm uh, reflections in the lakes and little ponds here. And uh, I kind of like this boulder here in the foreground. Now I photographed this before many, many years ago and I always liked the picture. So of course, you know, you always want to improve on things <laughs> or think you can improve on things. Mm -hmm. 